Hey YouTube, it's Rook here from Rookie Goodness. I'm actually doing my second vlog or vlog, the correct terminology now. I actually did a lot of research, found out I was calling it the wrong thing. It's actually pronounced vlog. So going forward, I gotta train my brain to call what I'm doing vlogging. Now, the first toil video went really, really well. Better than I thought it would be, actually. Uh, I got the uh, canine from the Duck Dodgers line, and I got the two-pack Bullseye and Zebra Batman. I didn't even know it was out yet, and I saw it. I had to pick it up. I thought it'd be a really, really good find. I'm really happy with that one. Um, when I, people were actually talking about that particular video, they were mentioning some weird shakiness. Well, I found out there was some shaking issues um, in my software, my camera. I didn't turn it on, so now I have implemented that, so it should stop all the rocking, I hope. Two, there was a lot of rippling and waving effect that was happening about middle way through the video for some weird reason. The reasoning is because I actually did some type of editing software through YouTube and it was supposed to uh, fix some of that shakiness or, and, and rocking. Well, it fixed some of it, but it actually caused that ripple effect to happen in other areas of the actual video. So I'm not going to use that stabilization stuff anymore. I think that was a bad idea. Um, going forward, I actually do the video stabilization on my phone, so I'm doing all the vlog stuff through my phone. I can upload the videos much faster. To upload, let's say, a five-minute video through my home uh, internet, which is garbage, it would take me about an hour and a half, close to two hours for a five-minute video. To do a five to ten-minute video here, I can get it done in between eight and ten minutes. So I can do it much quicker, get the contents up for you faster. I have special editing software, which will help me put the videos together and upload them quick to you guys. So I, I'm going to be doing that. Two, uh, actually, I already said two, so this is going to be just another thing. I want to start a kind of dialogue with you guys. What was the biggest failure you had buying an item? Um, probably for me, it happened last year. I was going to buy the Kit Fisto Signature FX Series Detachable Lightsaber Blades, meaning you can detach the blade from the hilt and pull them apart. I was actually going to do that, and it was about $130 roughly for that particular saber. I had the money. It wasn't a money issue. For some reason, I didn't buy it at my local comic store. I don't know the reason why I never bought it. I really wish I would have. A couple months after that, I saw it online. I was going to buy it there as well. But again, I didn't buy the damn thing. I really wish I would have bought it because now it goes, if you go to, let's say, Amazon or you go through any type of big box retailer, like a big bad toy store, if you try to even, if they even have it, it goes for about five to $600 right now. I thought it'd be really, really cool looking. It had a really cool anonized uh, aluminum hilt. Uh, it had very, very little uh, styling on the actual hilt. It looked very, very clean, very, very clean saber. I liked how it looked. And that's probably the reason why I got the Yoda Saber. I really wish I would have gotten the Kit Fisto one because the Yoda one doesn't detach. It's still one solid blade for about the same amount of money. The second one uh, incident happened when I was when the Battlefront game came out for Star Wars for PS4 and Xbox One. I was uh, I saw going through my local Walmart. They actually had the Shock Trooper, which was the uh, Battlefront exclusive Shock Trooper. It looks really, really, really cool. Um, they had it for about 20 bucks, MSRP pricing at the time. I was going to buy the damn thing. I had it in my hand. I was walking around the store with it. It was the only one they had, um, and I don't know why I didn't buy it. I should have bought it. Um, it goes for about 50 bucks now, and I would love to do a review for it. So if you guys have one, if you're willing to get rid of it, if you don't want it anymore, or if you want me to do a review on it, let me know. You can send it to me. I'll send it back to you to just to do a really quick review. I think it's a really cool figure. It's a different type of stormtrooper. It looks, it looks a little different. It looks different. It, it looks it, not the standard first order trooper or the standard trooper itself. They look really, really cool. I like how they look actually. They have like a red, like kind of a red trim. They look really, really cool. As far as the hunt today, I'm going to be hitting Toys R Us. I'm going to be hitting a couple game stops. I'm going to be hitting a hot topic at my local mall. Um, as far as what I'm looking for, I want to finish the Duck Dodgers line. Uh, I want to do a full uh, review set on that, on the K9 Martian Man, uh, Martian, um, Marvin the Martian, not Martian Manhunter, Marvin Martian, um, Duck Dodgers, of course, and the Cadet Pig. I'm missing the Cadet Pig right now. It's the only one I still need. Um, I even got the Funko exclusive glow-in-the-dark version, which is really, really cool. The whole pop glows. So I'm going to put that in the video as well, so you'll see that. It's really, really cool. So I need the, canine, the excuse me, I need the uh, Cadet Pig to finish that particular wave. And I'm thinking I might go with the Preacher Pops, possibly. I'm not quite sure. They look pretty cool. 
Um, I think I might go with those. Um, coming in a couple weeks, the New York Comic Con exclusives will be out. I'm definitely going to do a toy hunt for those. I'm taking those days off from work. I, uh, those I think are going to be Hot Topic and Barnes & Noble's exclusives. I'm definitely going to grab some of those. So I want to grab those. Um, but we're going to hit those stores up and see if I can come across anything. I really hope so, guys. So stay tuned. Be back shortly. Okay, guys, we're at Toys R Us right now taking a look at what they have here. And they move stuff around. Uh, let's actually take a look here. They do have the... Uh, I want you guys' opinion on this. I'm thinking about getting the Juggernaut Wave here. They have almost all the figures. Of course, they don't have the Deadpool because he's the chase figure, as you can see. Um, but he's probably one of the tougher figures to find. Um, as far as the Black Series goes... Looking at the Black Series here. I still have the same old crappy figures here. That they've always had. Nothing new from what I see here. Now. And they even have a special 2 for 30 here. It's kind of sad actually. Um, nothing really great over here unfortunately. This is a nice one here but I actually have her by herself, so I really don't need that two pack, that four pack. Uh, don't think anything's good over here. Yeah, they moved everything around. The Deadpool earbuds are kind of cool right there, but I don't need them. Let's go over here. Let's see what they got. Uh, they moved over move the turtle stuff over here now. This used to be uh, not turtle stuff So they moved everything around so hook around the corner here uh, We have the Power Ranger stuff here. Of course. We have our Green Ranger right there, which we already got him They have lots of them, but we already got him so uh, Nothing else Power ranger -y that I really like I mean, I'd love to get this around here, guys. I'd love to get that Dragon Zord. Because I don't even own one. I think it'd be really, really cool to have. Um, as far as action figures, I really don't see anything great that I really want. Uh, coming over here to the Transformer stuff, because I am a Transformers collector. Uh, that's kind of interesting. But I don't do that exclusive, but I'm not a fan of the uh, Robots in Disguise stuff, so I'm not really into it. So I'm going to skip on that. They do have Fortress Max down here, uh, but the price is pretty high, 150 bucks. so I'll skip on that too. Uh, WWE figures, if I can come across, if they ever make the AJ Styles figure that they showed, I think at... I think they showed it at San Diego Comic Con. I'd definitely love to get my hands on one of them. Um, and maybe a Seth Rollins figure, especially in this white outfit. I think that'd be really, really cool to get. But I really don't see anything. That Ultimate Warrior one's pretty cool right there. But as an all, you know, all in all, I don't think they have anything great. I mean, they have a Finn Balor, which is in this line right here, I think. Yeah, right here, guys. See? Finn Balor. I don't even have that figure yet, though. I definitely want to get that one. So I'm going to uh, head over to the Funko section. I have the Funko section here and see if they have anything that's cool or not. Hopefully they have something decent. Uh, I'm not seeing anything great. I think it's going to be a strikeout, unfortunately, guys. I, I mean, they have this Kevin Owens figure right here, which is kind of cool. But um, I don't even have a Seth Rollins. I don't know if it's exclusive. It might be an exclusive one. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um... I already have the zoom one here. Let me see if they have anything behind. I really don't see anything. I actually have Gemma ready. He's going to be in a review. Don't worry about that. That's going to be shortly. He's going to be reviewed. I do have uh, the Green Ranger figure already. But I don't see the... I don't see the uh, Cadet Pig, which is what I was looking for. Now this Rainbow Dash here looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not a My Little Ponies fan. I think that is really, really cool looking pop. Here, let's take a look at it real quick here. So yeah, let me uh, unzoom on it so we can see what it looks like. Pretty neat. Kind of sparkly effect, which is kind of neat. Same thing goes for the, uh, the Pinkie Pie. 
but again I'm not a My Little Pony fan uh, but I don't see anything here I think we kind of struck out here guys unfortunately we're at a GameStop taking a look at the pop see if we can come across anything I'm hoping we can grab something uh, they have a smaller selection of pops here I uh, don't see the Cadet Pig anywhere. There are a lot of these new legal legend ones, which are kind of interesting, actually. Um, I'm not going to collect that particular line, but I think they're kind of neat. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't see the Cadet Pig anywhere. Over here. They do have this new Batgirl, which is kind of interesting here, as you can see. And I do actually have this... Uh, full line with the exception of two of them. I dropped the box. I have all of them, but I'm missing him and him. This will be a video shortly as soon as it comes. They do have the Preacher Pops. They do have Preacher. Um, they have R's face, which is kind of interesting. I was hoping to get some other ones besides that one. I'm just looking down. I really didn't want that one yet. Um, look around, see. They do have the Game of Thrones Night King one, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Kind of cool. Put them back here. I'm looking to see if they actually have any other preacher ones. Let's go back and look over here again. Just give it one, one more once over. I don't see any other ones that I'm interested in. Lovely. And I already have the Ray over here. Uh, she will be a review uh, sometime soon, hopefully. But I don't see anything else, guys. I don't see anything else. So it looks like it's, uh, unfortunately, another strikeout here. I'm 0-2 right now, which kind of stinks. So uh, we'll be on to the next. So we're at FYE now, decided to head over there. And we're going to take a look and see if we can actually uh, nab something. Hopefully we can actually uh, get something from there. Uh, since we've been failing at both Toys R Us and GameStop, which kind of sucks. Uh, head over to the Funko section, see if they got anything interesting. Hopefully they do. Nothing. Pretty cool splinter over here. If I was collecting turtles, but I'm not. They do have him. I did say I wanted to get the preacher pops. They do have a preacher pops. They do have Jesse Custard. So this is probably one I'm going to get right here. So I'm going to get him because I said I'm going to. Hopefully I can find uh, Cadet Pig. They have a lot of these new uh, strawberry shortcake ones, which is kind of interesting. I do have the uh, Purple Pie Man and Berry Bird, which is the, uh, kind of smells like uh, grape. Uh, that was a Barnes & Noble's exclusive that came out for uh, New York Comic Con. They have the new uh, Pet Pop, which are kind of neat. These guys are pretty cool, actually. Very interesting. Uh, but I don't see the... I don't see anything else, unfortunately. So I'm probably going to get the, uh, the Preacher Pop here. Uh, let's see if I can find another one. Uh, this one is a little beat up, so I'm going to look through it and see if I can find another one. Uh, hopefully I can. If I can't, then we'll skip out on them. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, keep looking see if I can come up with anything. I'll uh, hold off the recording. Back shortly, guys. Oh, check that out, guys. I figured I'd get a shot of the Deadpool at FYE. I mean... He's cool, but I don't know if he's $1,300 cool. Uh, as as yeah, so guys, I uh, I passed up on that uh, Preacher Jesse Custard Pop. The box was too beat up, so I'll head over real quick to uh, Hot Topics, see if they got anything. And if not, we'll just re we'll stop the video for today. Uh, struck out. So, we'll see what happens. Hey guys, I stand corrected. Uh, I actually found something. This guy right here. Bam! The Seth Rollins Pop I was looking for. 
I said I wanted to get him in the action figure, but I'm definitely picking this guy up. Now oh, guys, Seth Rollins pop. Yes, 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 I got something cool. Finally, this pop, this hunt was not empty-handed. Okay guys, so I did decide to get the Seth Rollins pop. Um, I didn't want, the Preacher one was really banged up. So I decided, you know what? Let me get the Preacher ones later. Let me get the Seth Rollins ones because it's really, from what I talked to the guy about, it's short packed. Uh, meaning for every two of each one of these guys you would have in the box, there's only one Seth Rollins. So it actually has less, uh, it, that's why it's short packed. So let's actually take this guy out, take a look at him. I've been really wanting to get this one. This one's really great looking. Look at this guy. I love Seth Rollins. Great character in WWE here. Uh, great sculpt. Great amount of paint on him. Uh, little scuffs here and there on the belt, but all in all, it's really, really good. Um, they are coming out with a exclusive version for him, I think, for uh, New York Comic Con, where he's in his white outfit. So I really want that one. So I really hope you guys like this uh, vlog. Not vlog, vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.